Hello dudes, it's me online and Stan here back with another Windcraft profession guide. Today we are taking a look at woodcutting level 1 to 110 and above. Now there's going to be a new spot every 10 levels, so every new material basically. And for these spots I've looked at both the amount of trees but also the amount of mobs because, you know, getting attacked whilst doing profs is not fun. Anyways, uh, there's going to be a corner marked on the screen right now. Uh, this is where, you're, uh, where you will be able to uh, see the coordinates for uh, each spot. And the other corner that's being marked uh, will show the name and the level of that spot. Anyways, that is all for now. Let's go. For level 1, we're gonna go over to the Nivla Forest. Now, this is on the uh, northern uh, or sort of northwestern corner of the Nivla Forest because this is where the least amount of mobs are. But you can, of course, go to anywhere in the Nivla Forest because it's a forest made out of oak wood. Uh, but this is the sort of spot I use because there aren't many uh, mobs. There are some spiders further in, but otherwise, it's a rather peaceful spot full of oak wood. Moving on to level 10, we are going to the Dentless Outskirts here. Um, this is basically the only place you can find birch wood and I usually just walk this route and um, cut it down and uh, it's not like a huge forest out of birch but you know it's enough to help you level up to level 20 uh, when it comes to mobs it's the sort of normal walking deathless mobs you can come across level 10 to 13 ish um, but since there is a bit of a distance between every tree, they won't really bother you when you start walking away and, and uh, chop the next tree. So it's rather peaceful if you just continue cutting wood. But yeah, on to the next spot. For level 20 up to level 30, uh, we are moving over to Willow Wood. Um, you can find willow in uh, around the Nemrect area, but also the Olux swamps. So if you are a higher level, you can basically just go to Olux and farm there. Uh, but if you are at level 20 or around that, uh, this sort of area right next to Nemrect is a good spot because there aren't too many mobs here. So you can just run along the trees here and cut them down. And it's very close to blacksmith as well. But yeah, on to the next spot. For level 30 up to level 40, we have Acacia Wood. Now a spot I uh, frequently have used is uh, Breminglar basically. Um, you can basically just walk through and around Breminglar and cut down the Acacia trees here. Uh, it's a very safe area. Uh, once you get closer to like the top here, um, closer to Almuj, uh, there can be some mobs that spawn further along and aggro on you, but in general, it's really peaceful. Uh, and it's close to both Reminglar and Almuj, so um, blacksmiths are close by as well. But yeah, lots of trees around here and uh, not many mobs at all. You can basically just circle around Reminglar here. Uh, it's right at the uh, both inside and outside the uh, that little village. Moving on to level 40, uh, we are going to the Ice Barrows area. Now, the entire Nessai forest is spruce wood. Uh, but I've found that this little patch right here, uh, close to the iron spot for level 40 as well, um, has the least amount of mobs that I've come across. Basically just walk this little route here. There are some wolves and some snow uh, snowmen that spawn, um, but even at level they aren't too much trouble because they only spawn in smaller amounts. 
Uh, it's also very close to Nessac, so you can of course uh, go to a blacksmith uh, relatively easily when you need to repair as well. Anyways, on to the next part. Moving on to level 50 up to level 60, uh, it's jungle wood. And for this one, we're gonna go over to the Sodata Mansion over in the Dernal Jungle. Uh, it's basically uh, at the mansion for the Lost Souls quest. Um, here in the Dernal Jungle, um, this is basically the spot with the least amount of mobs there aren't any mobs around the mansion area so you can just walk along these uh, trees here and cut them down uh, in peace uh, and you won't get bothered um, and the closest blacksmith would be in the Iboju village which you have to go past when you uh, try to enter the journal jungle here but yeah on to the next part Moving on to level 60, we have Darkwood, and the spot for this one is gonna be right outside of Gellibord. I usually walk this route here. Um, you can go um, further down and get more trees, but if you stay to the upper area, there's the least amount of mobs. Uh, but the, the mobs tend to spawn both further down and also to the east here. Um, they can sometimes aggro on you, um, but it's not too much of, uh, of a problem. Um, but yeah, um, it's a, a lot of trees here. It's close to Gelly Board for Blacksmith. And the mobs, they, there are some mobs, uh, but they aren't a lot, so it wouldn't be a problem to farm here. But yeah, on to the next spot. Moving on to level 70, uh, we are at the uh, sort of edge of the light forest here. It's right next to the forgery and it borders the river that you cross uh, to uh, get from the forgery to Sinfras. Here is basically, since it's on the edge uh, of the light forest, there aren't really any mobs here. But I have found that since the update that some werewolves can sometimes spawn right at the border of the candor forest on the other side of the river and sometimes aggro on you. Uh, but other than that, there aren't really any mobs here and there are a lot of trees so you can farm here in peace. For level 80, we're moving on to Theseed. Now right outside of Theseed, you can find uh, pine trees and since it's technically the Theseed area um, part sort of of the uh, Canyon of the Lost here there aren't any mobs in this area uh, there are villagers but there aren't any aggressive mobs here at all so you can farm all the pine you need uh, in peace and you won't get attacked at all but yeah uh, on to the next spot Moving on to level 90, we have Ava Wood. Now, this spot um, is in the Avo Forest, uh, sort of west of uh, Quarter City. Um, at the bottom of the forest, because it's sort of located on a mountain, uh, there are a lot of mobs. But if you go to the top here, uh, to these coordinates, you can take the route that I'm showing here and you basically won't get attacked by mobs because this is sort of the peaceful area of that forest. So you can uh, loop around these trees here and cut them down in peace. And it's uh, super close to Quercus as well uh, for when you need to repair your tool. But yeah, on to the next spot. For level 100 uh, up to 110, we have Skywood. And for that, we're gonna head over to the Wibble Island in the Sky Islands. Now this island is basically underneath the uh, hemp farm um, from the farming guide. And here, 
there aren't really any mobs. There are the Wibbles, of course, but they are either uh, peaceful, defending, or passive. Um, sometimes some Sky Angels can fall down from the island above you, but other than that, there aren't any mobs, and there's a lot of uh, Sky Wood here. But yeah, on to the next part. And lastly, for level 110 and above, we have Durnic Wood. Now, the basically best area to farm Durnic Wood is right outside of Lutho, because right at the border here, no mobs really spawn. They do spawn further along the road here, um, but if you basically stick to the road, they won't really aggro on you. Um, so you can farm uh, Durnic here in relative peace, uh, because sometimes they can still charge on you. Um, but other than that, there's a lot of wood here, and um, not too many mobs. And compared to the rest of the Durnic wood uh, sort of areas that you can go to, this is the most peaceful one. But yeah, that's it. So that was it for my woodcutting level 1 to 110 and above guide. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe if you want to. I can't make you do that. Anyways, have a nice day everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.